Pence one of its uh, Lifetime Achievement Awards for 2010 to Dick Schneider. on May 81, and, uh, and uh, on May 5th, which is just a couple weeks away, I'll be old. <laughs> in the interim, however, I'm going back to L.A. from here. I was living in Florida. Oh, Florida is a, if you wanted to profile Florida, it's a place that uh, is made up of doctors, drunks, and bare feet. <laughs> ain't nothing going on down there. <laughs> so, so I thought I'd probably go back to LA and see if we can't get something going. Uh, when, I, when, I, when I first went into the second city, uh, after being in it for a couple of three years, uh, I almost said, do you know that there are 32 marriages that have come out of Second City? And I realized then that it's a community. This is not a, this is not a, a, a what do you call it when it's not a, a real, it's just a, it's not a diversion. It's a community. And about the space stuff, I, my book is called Shadows of Space. And the reason it's called that is because what I came to realize is that the space is the geographical location of creativity. We create from nothing. If you try to create something, all you can do is change something from something to something else. So in order to create something, we first have to know how to create nothing. And nothing is the space. So when that dawned on me, I realized we had something here by the, by the tail. And there's a hell of a lot more here to meet the eye. And so that's what keep me so interested. And I was one of the, uh, I was probably in the 33rd marriage in, um, uh, in the Second City. That took place in New York. When Arlene Galanka, who was in the show at the time, said she had a girlfriend who was beautiful on the inside and beautiful on the outside, and would I like to meet her? I thought maybe it was a, a ruse to get a free ticket. <laughs> Yeah, bring them around. <laughs> I'll put out. <laughs> you think I'm an asshole? <laughs> well, anyway, we got going together, and I found you. We've been studying acting for six years with Mary Tarsai in New York. So I put her in a workshop, and we started working it out, and uh, when the Toronto opening came up, I got her in the show. She was on stage with Linda Lavin, and came off all flushed. She said, I got it. My God, I just got it. All the time, and from Second City's training, from our experiences in improvisational theater, in creativity, just bang. 100% educated, all at one time. So, I'm just amazed that, uh, that I'm getting an award. <laughs> but it's the work. But Fred Allen once said, if you stand around Broadway long enough, they'll build a theater around you. <laughs> uh, thank you very, very much. 